Okay, girls, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your ePortfolio. And to build your ePortfolio, the first thing that you need to do is log into the computers and log into your school email via Classmate and so on. Because when you get into your email, you'll have your messages and so on. But in the corner here, right there, you have the applications launcher. And if you click on it, it actually brings up all of the different Google applications. The one that I want you to launch is this one here called Sites, right? Because this is how we're going to build our portfolio by building a Google website. And this is already part of your account. So you click on Sites and um, what are, it'll come up, if you've never used it before, then this will be blank because you won't have any websites. But here are some of the different types of websites that I've built for various things. So I'm going to create a website or an e-portfolio page. And to do that, I need to click on Create. So when I click on Create, it gives me a, uh, an option of whether I want a blank template or browse uh, for different types of templates. I'm going to suggest that you start with a blank, blank template. A blank template is just simply, it hasn't got anything on it. It makes it easier for you to add stuff on. So start with a blank template. I need to um, give it a name. So I might call it Mr. Vieira's Year 7 e portfolio and what happens is that Google is working out what the address of my website is going to be based on what I put here um, so if that'll come up in a moment there we go if someone else in the world has used the exact same name Google's gonna say sorry you can't use that name you need to add something else so it will change you'll add a letter or a number or something like that um, so that's the first thing and the other thing you can do is select a theme and there's lots of different types of themes so at the moment I've got a blank theme which hasn't got anything on it but you can use different ones so if I make it like a notebook theme or a beige and blue theme or a terra water I don't know I'm gonna go with beige and blue today just for a bit of variety so I've made that you can always go backwards and change the theme and what it does it just uses those colors and those texts and things like that in there so once I've done that, I'll go create, and if no one else has got that name, um, it will let me through. But if you have a look here, Google is telling me this location is already used by another site. Please pick a new location. So I'm going to call it Mr. Vieira's Year 77 ePortfolio. You can make it up, you know. I think I've already done one for another class before, that's why. So let's go create site, see what it does this time. And it looks like it's going through now. And what will happen is that in a moment, it will, in the background, just open up my blank website. And here it is here. It's got my title, Mr. Vieira's Year 7 Portfolio, And then it's got blankness. Hasn't got anything because I haven't added anything to my website yet. So here's what I need to do. The thing to remember is add, sorry, you click on the pencil because the pencil is the edit button that loads up and allows you to type on there. So now it looks like a word processor. I can uh, have different types of fonts, different sizes, and so on. I want to go, hi, my name is... I don't know what's that. My name is Mr. Vieira. I'll say, welcome to Mr. Vieira's year 77. I've been in school for a while. E-portfolio. Okay? And in order to save, I simply go save, and then I'm done. Okay, so now if someone goes to this web address, if they type that in exactly, they might find my site, but they'll only be able to see it if I've shared it with them. So one of the things that you will need to do is, and I know that the projector's cutting out, so I'll just ignore it for the moment. One of the things that you will need to do is that you'll need to share the website with me so that I can see your work as we progress. Let me just plug this in and out. Plug that back in, see what happens. Has that come up? There it goes, okay. Uh, so, over here at the moment, if I, this button here shows that my website at the moment is locked. And it gives me a couple of options. So at the moment, no one will be able to find it. Even if they type in that exact address, um, it's going to say, sorry, this website is locked. But if I click on the share button, it says, who do you want to share it with? And I've got a couple of options. If you want, you can share it with the whole world. 
You can just go public on the web, anyone on the internet can find it. But for the time being, what I want you to do is just have it as a private site and I'm going to get you to add me in by adding my email in. And to do that, you click on the share button and over here you write in whoever it is you're going to invite and you'll, I'll give you my email later on. But if you add uh, mviera at para.catholic.edu.au, what it will mean is that I'll be able to see your website but no one else can. Unless of course you want to share it, that's okay. So, coming back to here, if I want to add another page, I can simply do that by clicking on the Create Page button. Right, so you might create an e-portfolio and then you might have a music page, you might have a, a history page, you might have a whatever page. Okay, but I'm going to uh, stick to this and then I'm going to go Edit. And let's say I want to add a photo in. So I take a photo of myself or however. Uh, let me actually show you by using Photo Booth. So, Photo Booth lets me take photos of myself. Let's pretend that. Um, let's use this. Let's pretend this is a worksheet that I've been working on in, in class. Okay. What I might do is take a photo of it and go like this take a photo. There we go. It's taken a photo. And there is my photo. Now, I'm going to. Squish my page up a little bit. And hide that and hide that and hide that. Okay, and what I'm going to do is drag this photo, which at the moment is back to front, so I'm going to flip it. Uh, sometimes you need to flip these photos. You go into Photo Booth, Edit, Flip Photo, and it puts it the right way around for me. And now I'm going to drag it to the desktop so I can find it. Okay, so here is let's say that this is a, a, a task that I've given you in class, Heartbreak Hotel. I can crop it by selecting around here and just go Tools, I think it is, and a crop. Okay, so now I've only got that and I'm going to save it. And here's my picture. So what I can now do is go to Google, to my site, and I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to insert an image. And Google's going to say, great, where's this image? And I'm going to say, I need to upload the image. So I'll click on Upload. It's going to say, great, go and find the image. So I'm going to look for my image, which is... Which one is it? Not that one. Where was it? Up. Lower, lower. I can't remember which one it is. Okay, not there. Tell me when to stop. <laughs> Tell me when to stop. stop. No, that's not it. <laughs> I can't find it. Where is it? Stop. 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 Photo. Yeah. There we go. Okay, good. And I'm going to go open. And now it's going to upload it onto Google. I lost my file. I had too many things open in the background. <laughs> and it's going to say, do you want that? Yeah, that's what I want. And I'm going to go, okay. And Google sticks it in there. So in my ePortfolio, I might go Friday 31st of July 2015. Uh, today, I completed this worksheet. Okay? And you save it, and now that becomes part of your portfolio. Wow. All right? Pretty cool, isn't it? Uh, just a little tip on this. Oh, I'm going to click on the editor. If I click on the photo, it gives me these different options, right? So S means small. And it makes the photo small, M is medium, L is large, 100% is the original size. I'm going to make it medium for the time being. But it gets better than that. Let me show you why it gets better. So let's say I'm playing um, the guitar and I've learned a song and I want to record it. Or I've said, hey, can you put this on your ePortfolio? You can open up Photo Booth, record yourself, do exactly the same and upload a video. Here's an example of what the students did before. I'm going to go Insert. And I'm going to, if it's, you can upload it to YouTube if you want, so you can put it on YouTube, or you can go to Drive, your Google Drive, and say, hey, show me the videos that I've got. And I'm going to click on Video. And Google Drive is now going to open up all the different videos that I've got. Uh, here's a couple of girls that you might be familiar with who did this before. And so it's found that video, and I'm going to go Select, and I'm going to go Save, and now it's put a placeholder for the video, and if I go save, look at this. 
Yeah, check this out. All right, so this becomes part of the ePortfolio, and you can say stuff like, um, well, let's go over here. Um, this is me playing the guitar. <laughs> and you can add stuff to it like that. Does that make sense, girls? Yes. Yeah? All right. So a couple of things that you can do, of course, you can change the font sizes and the font colors and, you know, all of that kind of stuff, and you can decorate it. If you want to change the themes, so at the moment, can you see how mine is just like pretty basic? It hasn't got a lot of stuff on it, but I've started to build my portfolio. And you can imagine that as the year goes on, you'll have like five or six or seven or ten things that are just building there, and it shows a really nice collection of your work, really cool stuff. So if I want to make some changes, the little gear icon over here allows me to make changes. Like, uh, if I go to, I think it's Manage Site. I can't remember if this is the right one or not. Uh, and I go to, that's it, Manage Site, and down the bottom I go to Themes, Colors, and Fonts, down here. I can change all the aspects of it. So let's say I want to make it go this Terra Ruby Pink theme. If I select it and I go Save. Oh. Okay, so I've saved it. So now when I go back to my ePortfolio, it's nice and pink. Does that make sense, girls? Yes. Okay. Are there any questions? So that you know, um, it lets you put images and links and text boxes and all, all of this sort of stuff. You can put, you know, there's, there's tons of things you can put in. The easiest thing to do is... Once again, when you're in your email, go to your Google Drive, uh, go to your Apps Launcher, okay? Click on it, go to Google Drive, and whatever you put in Google Drive is then uh, your site will be able to see and connect to as well. So if you videotape yourself, drag it into your Google Drive so it's there, and when you are in your site, you can simply go, hey, find the stuff that's in my drive, it's a document, a drawing, a folder, or whatever. Does that make sense? So the easiest thing is whatever you do, put it in your Google Drive, then connect it to your ePortfolio. And that, girls, is how you create your ePortfolio. Make sense? Yes. Yeah.